Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be sharing my tips how to set up and install Halo WinLater XR, or HWXR for short, into WinLater XR, available from SideQuest, on the MetaQuest 3 and Pika 4 Ultra headsets. So HWXR is now in early access. It is done by BigLoad, and it's essentially converting the SteamVR calls to WinLater XR API. The existing mod is done by Living Frey for the PC, and Bigload has done the XR API implementation to work within WinLater XR. There's going to be a few things we need along the way, and I will link everything in the video description. But starting with the HWXR release, we're going to need to go to the GitHub and get the early access files. There are two versions available here, and I would recommend just sticking with the HWXR setup early access.zip. It is a bigger download, but it includes a trial version of Halo, and it takes care of everything for you within the container for easy setup. There is the retail mod early access, which is just the bare essentials to mod your existing copy of Halo. And you're going to need to take a few files from your Windows PC to make this work. So to make things easy, we're going to stick with the bigger download here and save it to the download folder of your headset. As applicable to the Quest 3 and the Pico 4 Ultra, everything has to be in the download folder. We also need to install WinLater XR by Luboss, which is available on the SideQuest store from MetaQuest 3. Or you can alternatively install it from the GitHub. But we're going to need the very latest version because that has a few changes in regard to how the FOV works within WinLater XR API games. Be sure to get the latest version, click on SideQuest to install it, and get that installed to your headset. Now we have both the HWXR files and WinLater XR installed. We obviously need the Halo copy. Best advice to patch it on your PC, fully up to date with the community patch, and take the existing game files and put them in the download folder of your headset. HWXR can work with the existing copy of Halo, but that has to be done from your PC. There's no easy way to get that installed within WinLater XR and patched all the way up, just because the emissions of certain DLL files you need from Windows. Now we've got everything we need here. I'll cover how to set up WinLater XR. Within the MetaQuest, it's going to be installed in the unknown sources here. And the first time you launch it, it's going to ask you for file permissions and install system files. This does take a while. Just leave the window open and let it do its thing. And once it finishes, it's going to ask you for another permission to essentially allow USB storage permissions. Allow that once that's finished. Close the application. Go back into your library and unknown sources and then open WinLater XR again. This will populate a new window to install in contents files. Let that finish and then we can start with the installation process. Now we can create a container for Halo. Click the plus icon in the top right hand corner. And I like to rename the container to container-halo. Close the keyboard. And for screen size, Wine version, graphics driver, and DX wrapper, we're going to leave all of this alone for the moment and change it later after the installation process is finished. So we can scroll down, go to video memory size, and change this to 4 gigabyte. We're going to go up to environment variables, scroll down to DXVK HUD, and if you wish to disable the FPS counter, you can do so now, or you can enable more metrics to be able to view how the game's running. Click OK. And that's the only changes we need to do right now. So we're going to click the blue tick icon in the lower right hand corner. And that will create the container that we're going to be using for Halo. So you can see this is renamed container-halo. I'm going to click the play icon and OK to launch into the container. Now we've presented with the desktop. Moving the mouse cursor around on screen is handled by the right motion controller. With the right grip trigger being a right click and the main trigger being your left click. To get started, we're going to be going down to the Start menu, going up to System Tools, and to Wine Mono Installer. We need to install this to be able to run the HWXR Setup EXE. Now we can go across to the D drive, which is going to be the download folder, and we can go to the HWXR Setup Early Access folder that we extracted earlier. Go down to HWXR Setup EXE, right click, and open. Now we can begin installation. And now we have a choice to mod retail, which is the full version of the game, which we have installed to the download folder of the headset. Or you can go with the trial version, which will give you a chance to play a silent cartographer map. Be warned that silent cartographer is the most demanding map in the game. So this is not representative of the performance you can expect throughout the entire campaign. For this tutorial, we're going to be sticking with mod retail 
as I already have the existing pre-patched game files saved to the download folder of the headset. Clicking on Mod Retail, I suggest reading the end user license agreement and agree to continue. Now this is asking me to find the Halo EXE, which is going to be on my computer, the D drive, Halo, and Halo EXE. Click open and wait for the open AL installer to appear. Click OK. Click OK again. Once the blue bar is gone, we can click continue. This is now going to open the Visual CC redistributable setup. We click next. Wait for the installation process to finish. Click finish. Wait for the blue bar to go and click continue. Now we have a few notes from Zigload on how to use the mod. Game performance may be improved by setting master volume set to zero. You can also load game to load the checkpoints. Multiplayer may work, but it's untested and is not officially supported. Accept and continue. Observe the different button layouts and the controls. Click continue. And from here, there's two options that we need to pay attention to. First of all, the box preset of performance should automatically now be set in the latest version of WinLater XR, but the main difference we need to change is the width and the height of the Halo shortcut, which is going to be 1400 by 1400. So now we're aware of that, we click continue. Now we've got to the credits page of the installation setup. I suggest giving this a full read through and scrolling down, paying particular note to the known issues in the early access release. Crouching on the left stick will not reflect the vision in your head. There is no stereo 3D depth right now, just because of performance concerns. Loading the checkpoint while in a vehicle can be glitchy, so you have to exit and re-enter the vehicle. And there's no recenter when pressing and holding the menu button, so you have to use the HMD reset button instead. Stuff down the bottom relating to the DXVK version and performance mode has now been taken care of, but we do still need to set the custom size to the shortcut. So now we're done here, we can click close. And before we exit this container, we're going to go back to the D drive, back to the Halo folder that we have for the game files. We're going to go down using the right stick to Halo EXE. We're going to click the right grip trigger and go down to create a shortcut and press the main trigger. Once we've done that, we can then click in the right stick. So right thumbstick click to bring up the Winnator XR menu. Scroll across with the right thumbstick to exit and click the trigger to exit. This will take us back to the WinLater XR screen, where we can now go up to the top left hand corner, go to shortcuts. Now we have the shortcut for Halo. We go across to the three dots on the right hand side, click this and go to settings. And first change we're going to be making is the screen size. Click into the drop down box and scroll up with the right thumbstick to custom. From here, the width and height must be set to 1400. For the graphics driver wrapper, make sure this is set to wrapper and click the cog on the right hand side. For the quest free, leave this as system under the graphics driver version. For the Pico 4 Ultra, select turnip 25 or use any other turnip that you want to use. Quest free cannot use turnip and must stick with system. For both headsets, I suggest changing the frame synchronization to never and click OK. That's it. We don't need to make any other changes. You can experiment with different DXVK wrappers and the versions. However, this has been tested with 1.10.1 and any other options may cause stability issues or graphical artifacts. So I suggest sticking with 1.10.1. Now I can click OK. And we can finally launch Halo, which will start up the WinLater XR API converted process and boot us into a VR view. Now we're in Halo. There's one more change we're going to need to make here, and that is scrolling down with the left stick, clicking settings, going down to video settings, click up on the left stick to get you to the bottom of the menus, and go across to OK. We're not actually changing any video setup options here. This is just a quick workaround to make sure the video feed is not going to be jittery. This is a known issue and will be fixed. Click OK. You can click the back button on your left controller to exit the menu. And now we have Halo WinLater XR. Now we're loaded into a game here. 
The controller bindings are set, so left controller menu button will bring up the start menu in game. And this is interacted with the left controller, so you click the left trigger to interact with the menu here. Clicking the right thumbstick will bring up the Windows XR menu and show pass through, which is by default. You can use the right stick to then disable pass through for this mode, which shows you as such like this and gives you a nice FPS increase. If you're finished playing Halo, you can either quit and automatically create a checkpoint for yourself, going back into the campaign and load. And you can see I've got the cotog for checkpoint here, 36 seconds. So I can load straight back into that, no issues. And that's cool. And then finally, once I'm done playing Halo and I want to go back to the quest, I simply click the right stick, go to exit, and that will exit me back to the Quest OS and to the main WinLater XR screen. So I hope that video helps. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.